But really, I mean, to answer that question, you've got to look at the fact that Australia, out of the OECD, has the lowest amount of prefabrication. This is where I wanted to get to. On that to. list, right? Yeah. I think a couple of years ago, it was down at like 3%. And if you look at Scandinavian countries... Like 70 plus. 78% they get That's up to. Because they have to, because it's so cold, or they just need to get these buildings up, and then we'll work the interiors out later. And you have to. And when, so when I was talking about CLT before, and Australia being known for building big buildings... Yeah. The majority of CLT still goes into European buildings, into residential buildings and one, two, and three story when they build their superstructure super fast during the summer months, get it locked up, leave it, go and do another one, go and do another one, go and do another one, and they finish all their buildings when it's snowing. So there's a lot of that that's going on, and Australia is just approaching it differently. So how the market's moving, I don't know what's actually going to make it shift, but 3% yeah. is it's got to get higher. Coming. I think building is so expensive right now. We, I think we're going to go into a sort of a period where we're going to be forced to try different things. And I think it becomes down to things like prefabrication.